All right, morning. 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 Great to see everybody. Thank you for coming out, like always. This is our, what, 14th our track event and our third pass of the summer. Um, so like I always start off, it's always about the thank yous. So thank you to you guys for coming out, supporting, you know, registering. Um, thank you to Eric and John and Jeremy and everybody from track days you know obviously without them this couldn't happen um, you know the summer point crew all those people uh, thank you to the sponsors where's Michael really quick so Michael is our director of marketing and trophies <laughs> look at these bad boys for later so you know thank you to the sponsors Lindsay TLC uh, CT VW racers where's Ryan Ryan's right there uh, Maryland MQB where's Justin Thank you, Justin, uh, the Lindsay guys, FCP Euro, NGP. Is Mike here yet or? No, they're coming on their own. So I always start off with thank yous. Uh, again, this can't happen with all these different people um, coming together, sharing our enthusiasm, sharing our passion for the cars. Um, I, I, you know, we wanna keep this going. There's other tracks that we were talking about potentially doing this at next year. So, you know, Please, please keep in touch. Please keep this going. Uh, and then just two things for me specifically is uh, safety. That's the first one. So please, everybody be safe today. Um, and then just as important, have fun. You know, we're not racing. We're not timing, except Dimitri. We're not, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, the trophies are for show cars. It's not for fastest or anything. So please be safe and, uh, and please have fun and, and please enjoy. So with that, I'll turn it over to the bosses. You know, the main guys. Um, right. Thank you. Thank you. So as Andre said, thanks a lot. You know, we started this in 2006. So it's, you know, we had some breaks in between, but we've been doing this a long time. And it all started as a VW club event. Thanks to Andre and me and this stuff we had Pastor to figure out how we can get him Volkswagen corporate to support a track event. So, um, you know, thanks a lot for all the years of support. And, um, one of the things that Andres uh, did mention that I always mention, the key to this surviving is growing it. So tell your friends, other enthusiasts, get them out here. Show them how much fun it is, more fun it is coming and watching and hanging out here than it is just sitting in a parking lot drinking some coffee or something. Or on your couch. Or on your couch, you know. So that, that's the key. And if we want to go to other tracks and bigger tracks, it takes more people to support it. But the bigger we can grow it, the bigger we can make it and have something different. Not your typical show is kind of one of the taglines we used to say, right? It's, yeah. So show them how much fun this is. Even if you don't want to drive on track, there's still other ways you can have a lot more fun here rather than hanging out in the parking lot and somewhere. So. Dump deliverance. Yeah. The only squealing was the tires. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, but thanks a lot. I'm going to turn it over to uh, Mr. Megan. Oh, Megan. Megan showed up. I didn't see her. Hey, All Megan. Right. How are you? Good. How are you? Would you like to say a few things? I thought we need to stand up there, too. Yes, absolutely. You have to. Ladies and gentlemen, Megan from Volkswagen. Good before I get into my stuff. <laughs> Kathleen from Summit Point. <laughs> yeah, what'd she say? And thank you to our flaggers who will be standing out doing the work. All right, now on to some business. Who is ready to have some fun? Woo! Come on, it's ready to have some fun in their Volkswagen! Woo! All right, wake me up. Good, all right, welcome, welcome.
welcome. I'm John. I'm uh, going to try to be the glue that holds everything together today. Uh, thank you all for being here. Who has wristbands on their wrist? You should have one from the gate and one from us. Good. All right, one at the gate says you signed the waiver. The one from us tells you what run group you are in. Unless you have a silver wristband on, that means you're in black group. Not confusing at all. Does everyone have a schedule? All right, the schedule is in the packet. It was emailed to you. I'm sure someone around here has an extra copy. Uh, this is what we call a time certain schedule. What that means is we're going to do everything we can to stick to what's on the paper. We'll try to make announcements, but the PA, you know, maybe not that great. It might be loud. I might be busy and not get to make a call. So if you want to know where we are, find that piece of paper and look at it. It's nicely color coded for your viewing pleasure. Uh, assume that is correct unless we announce otherwise. Uh, if we have cleanups, tow ins, stuff like that, that's going to come out of the offending group's time. What that means is if you're in yellow group and someone, uh, not that these cars would ever have a mechanical problem, that's impossible. <laughs> but let's say you uh, had a flat tire and you had to pull over and stop and we had to come tow you in and that take five minutes. That means yellow group just lost five minutes and nobody else did, right? That way we only piss off like one sixth of you, right? Instead of everybody. So we'll try to get back on schedule as quick as we can, but you can assume that that group is the one that uh, lost the time and hopefully nobody else. So classroom, you'll notice on the schedule, there's some classroom times on the bottom left of the schedule. Classroom is mandatory. This is a discussion intended to help you learn some of the rules and procedures and also talk about situations that may happen. So bring your stories, bring the, hey, this almost happened or this didn't happen. Bring all that stuff. The classroom is in the middle of the building. So to get there, go down this walkway and turn left at the door in the middle and then go basically to the back, you know, most inside room of the building, you'll find it. Uh, Eric will be giving class today. He will talk to you about stuff. But again, this is a discussion, not a lecture. That said, all the classroom time is mandatory, and you will probably get a sticker that goes on your car or a pass to hand back to us to get back on track. So you do have to go to class. It's not very much, it's not very long, it's not punishment, but again, it's just discussion to help you, uh, help you have a better day, basically. So uh, as you may know, typically rules are just a list of things that someone else already did wrong, right? So uh, classroom is a time to discuss some of that stuff, okay? All right, when you want to get on the track, you're going to go exactly where you did tech. You're going to line up in our pre-grid, which is right on the other side of the wall here. So where these cars are now, that's where you line up. Please make two lanes run all the way down. I don't want a single file lane that comes all the way down and wraps around and goes back in the paddock. Bring all the cars all the way as far down this way as possible. So it's a shorter walk for us to get you out and get you going, check yourself and do all that stuff. How much time do you need before we get in the Typically 10 minutes prior is a pretty good, pretty good call, five or 10 minutes prior. So that you have time to kind of get your car warmed up, get yourselves warmed up, make sure your helmet's strapped, all that stuff. Uh, and you know, take a little break, take a little moment and just kind of think about going out and driving. So typically the later you get there, the more you're rushed, the less, uh, the less calm and smooth you're gonna be once you get on the track. So come down early and get in line, take a break. Uh, green group and blue group, we will have a group of about 12 instructors rotating through your cars all day. Instructors will find you on the grid and they will help you, they'll get in the car with you. Once they're done with you and declare that you're safe and good to go, they're gonna give you an orange sticker that goes on your tech sticker. Once you have that orange sticker, you may go out, you know, continue to go out by yourself. So not everyone's gonna have an instructor every session, but we're rotating a bunch of instructors through cars. Ask your instructors questions. Uh, we're gonna to try to spend as much time with you as we can, but again, we have a bunch of instructors to get a bunch of students solo. So that is more of a guide than an all day of instruction type deal. So keep that in mind, we're here to help you be safe uh, but maybe not all the speed secrets that every instructor has will be relayed to you today. So, Okay, so when you want to get on the track, we're going to release you from grid here, and we're going to take a hard right, go around behind this beautiful uh, flock of trees here, and there will be a pit-out human standing right there. There are two large orange cones there. That is pit-out. So you have to stop again down there and be directed out onto the track, at which point you turn left, go all the way around the track. When the session is up, you'll catch a checkered flag up here at the top of the hill before the ski jump on your left. Then you're gonna slow down, come all the way back around and pit in right on the other side of the trees over here where you will see two more straight up big orange cones. That's the pit in. From there, you're gonna come in and come all the way down the middle pit lane and turn left at the end and come back in the paddock right down here where these cars are. So uh, sometimes in the past, we've been able to go straight back in the paddock today. We're all gonna come back down the pit lane. That way, if we need to talk to you or check something or whatever, so you're coming back down pit lane and turning in. So there's only one way on and one way off the track. Make sense? Mm -hmm clear as mud, I'm sure. Basically, when you see a wall of cones, don't go there. That's a pretty good guideline, right? It's kind of, kind of the opposite of an autocross. If you see a wall of cones, that means don't go there. That means this road is blocked off. There are some exceptions to that that we'll talk about in a minute. But uh, keep in mind, the middle lane, if you need to come in and like check something real quick, or, oh, you accidentally left your tire pressure gauge in the glove box and you want to drop it on the pit wall, something like that, 
come on down the pit road, do what you got to do, and then go back out. The reason I bring that up is if you come in in the middle of the session to come back in the paddock to fix something, you might not be able to get back on track because that grid has 40 cars, 30 cars for the next group stuck in it. So if it's anything you can fix on the pit road in the middle lane, please do it out there. Otherwise, you may cost yourself track time. If you come in early, again, you may not be able to get back onto the track. All right, passing rules. It is the overtaking car's responsibility to go offline and complete the pass safely. What that means is if you are pointing someone by, you stay online and you be predictable. That is the key word here, be predictable. Stay on the line and be predictable and do your thing and point them by offline. It then becomes their job to go offline and go around you and get back online. Please do us all a favor and do not feel the need to get out of the way. I don't care how many GTIs are bearing down your uh, rear view mirror. Do the right thing and stay online and be predictable and point them by offline. Don't say I'm gonna dive out of the way because of course that makes you unpredictable. Uh, point buys are as follows. When you want someone to go by you on the left, you're gonna put your hand up out the window, finger pointed one point per, per uh, golf R, just like this. One point, <laughs> three golf R's going by, right? If you want them to go by on the left. If you want them to go by on the right, put the finger up and over the car, again, one point per car. Uh, two hand signals we're also very fond of. If you're about to point someone by and you want to let them know, hey, it's coming, give them a wave down the center of the car. This means I see you back there, I'm going to point you by as soon as we get to a safe place. And when you're pitting in, put your fist up, or if you're slowing down, if your car's broken, whatever it is, the fist up out the window is the universal, hey, I'm slowing down to go in or because my, uh, you know, not again, not that these cars would ever break, but maybe you have a problem, you need to come in, you're low, low on gas, whatever it may be. So fist up out the window is, hey, I'm slowing down. Point by rules, of course, still apply, but this is a warning to everyone behind you. So do this when you're slowing down to come in. Uh, communication between cars is the key to everyone having a safe and fun day. So please help us with those signals. All right, passing zones will be discussed more in the classroom, but I'm going to do these in reverse order. Red group instructors can pass anywhere in time, anytime with a point by. Yellow group and black group advanced drivers, or sorry, red group is without a point by. Yellow group, black group is anywhere, anytime with a point by. Green group, blue group, orange group, all the novices and low level intermediates may pass only on designated straightaways. That's where the wheels are straight with a point by. Those will be designated as the back straight on the left, the bridge straight on the right, the Stonehouse straight back over here on the left, and turn 17 to 18 before pit in on the right. Clear as mud, I'm sure. That will all be explained much better in the first classrooms for those groups. So again, green, blue, and orange passing on the straights with a point by. Yellow and black passing anywhere with a point by. Red group is open passing. So you will be put out under yellow. Of course, a yellow flag on a circuit means no passing. We'll put you out under yellow, especially this morning, to get you warmed up, get you used to the track and where all the corners go. Uh, once those flags drop, you may not see a green flag, but once the yellows drop, the circuit is green. Do yourselves a favor and don't bunch up on the way out. Try to spread out a little bit on your way out. Sometimes, occasionally, we get complaints about trains. Well, guess what? If you start the session three feet off the car in front of you, you started the session in the train. <laughs> spread out on your way out. Use that pace lap, that opening lap, to open up the traffic, right? Don't be, you know, be a couple hundred feet apart if you can. Kind of open everything up so you are not starting the session in a train. Uh, we are a self-policing, hang on just a sec, we are a self-policing group. What that means is if you see something funny, if someone's doing point buys wrong, if their brake lights don't work, if they're leaking something, whatever it is, come on in, come down the middle pit road, stop and tell one of us so we can fix the problem while we are all here and we are all on track. What that means is let's solve the problem right now. That doesn't mean send us an email on Tuesday talking about something that happened in the second session today because we won't be able to fix it then. We can only fix it while we are all here. So again, we're self-policing. Please pit in and tell us if you are having a problem with someone or something so that we can fix it right now. If you put four tires off the pavement, if you have a significant loss of control, a big old tank slap or something like that, please pit in automatically. So if you go off, if you spin, if you make contact with anything at all, come on in so we can check your car, make sure you're okay, and probably or maybe not send you back out. We typically operate on a two to three strikes and you're out rule, meaning basically the more times you screw up, the less likely it is we're gonna let you back out. That is for your safety and the safety of everyone else in your group, and so you go home with your trophy. What is your trophy? Your car, your car right? So we don't wanna bang up any cars today. Uh, that said, also a reminder, the first session should be treated as a warm up. Please take it extra easy on that first session. If you go off or spin in the first session, you've then done two things wrong, right? We ask you to take it easy on that first session, certainly those first few laps. Uh, is, has it rained here lately? Very late? <laughs> early week. Yeah, early in the week. All right, so we can assume if we go in the grass, we're probably not gonna slow down, right? 
So one way to avoid problems is to stay on the pavement. Everybody agree? Yeah. yeah. Stay on the pavement, don't go in the grass because you probably won't slow down. Now, if you get off the track and you're still mostly pointed straight in a somewhat straight fashion, first thing I want you to do is look back at your positive goal, which is the road, not the wall. If you look at walls here, guess what happens? You steer yourself right toward it. So if you go off in a mostly straight fashion, first thing you want to do is look back at the road where you're headed, then take your feet off the pedals. Do nothing, right? The standard off-road recovery is take your feet off the pedals, let the car bounce around a little bit, wait a couple of seconds, and then using about an inch of steering, very gently bring it back on the road. If you smash brakes and target fixate on a wall, guess where you're going to end up, right? So one of the human conditions is to stare at the problem. Instead, I want you to stare at the solution, which is the open track you're trying to head back toward, right? A little bit of theoretical stuff there, but uh, you know that's, that's kind of how it works. If you look at the wall, you're going into a wall, so save yourselves. All right, talked about that. If you stop for your, any reason on the track, if you have, again, a mechanical problem, impossible. But if that happens, if you need to stop on the track, stay in your car with your helmet on. We will bring everyone in, roll the cavalry out to you as quick as we can, come help you with whatever the problem is. The only exception to that rule is if your car managed to catch on fire. Again, impossible that these cars could do that. But if it happened hypothetically, then you could jump out of the car and hop the wall. But again, stay in your car with your helmet on. We'll be to you as quick as we can. If you're having a mechanical problem and need to pull over and stop, that would be an okay time to get in the grass or blow through a wall of cones if you had to. I'd rather have you get off the track and not leak oil all over everything than make a big mess. A couple of reasons for that. Number one, cleanups take time. Number two, they're going to cost you money. The you break it, you bought it rule is in effect today, meaning if a bill gets generated from Summit Point for any problem you cause, if, you, if we need 20 bags of kitty litter, if you hit a tire barrier, if you do any of that stuff, the bill gets passed right on to you. Pretty hard to hide from that because Track Days has all your credit card numbers, so <laughs> kind of hard to hide from that one. But again, if you're having a mechanical problem, I'd much rather have you pull off and stop than oil down the whole track. So that would be the one time it would be okay to blow through a wall of cones. Come to a stop, sit there with your helmet on, we will be to you as quickly as we can. The chicanes are all blocked off with cones, but again, if you need them for an emergency uh, bailout, that is an okay time to go and use a chicane and blow through a wall of cones. Checkered flag, as we talked about, will be at the top of the hill on the left before the ski jump down into the carousel. That means you have half a lap of cool down. Come on in as quick as you can. You may pass after the checker by the rules of your group unless we are under yellow. So come in as quick as you can and we will send the next group out. Uh, skid pad will be open later this morning. If you would like to get on the skid pad, put your helmet on, get your car, and go up to the top of the hill up where those rocks are on the hill and you come on the skid pad from there, do a couple of minutes, uh, whether, whatever direction you want, and then head straight back off where these two white lines are on the other side closest to the building. If anyone would like to talk more about skid pad, please walk with me after this meeting over to the skid pad, and I will give you some tips and tricks. I'm on skid pads three to five days a week. I'd be happy to tell you everything I know about that. If you want to talk about it, let's walk that way and talk about skid pad right after this meeting. All right, a couple more things, and then we will go play. Uh, tow hooks. If you have tow hooks, please install them, especially on the front of your vehicle, so you will never need them. Uh, superstition and such would uh, suggest that if you install your tow hook, you will not need it. If you don't install your tow hook, it will be back here in the paddock. You will absolutely need it. When we come to tow a broken car in, we're going to hook to anything we can find that we can tow from. So uh, lower control arm, whatever it might be, strut tower brace, whatever it is. If you don't want us to scratch your stuff, use your tow hook, right? Bring your tow hook so uh, you won't need it. Uh, please do not go out with low gas. Gasoline is available right in the paddock right over there. I know it's not the cheapest gas you've ever bought, but it is right here and you pay for the convenience. Please don't go out with low gas. If we come out and find that you have run out of gas on the circuit, that is a big no-no. As far as I'm concerned, you're not going to go back out on track. So if you run out of gas on track and we come to tow you in, please lie to us and tell us that the car is broken. Please do not run out of gas on the track. Uh, anything else? What am I missing? Hi, Lee. What, do you have any words, Lee, for the group? I just wanted to add that if we do a black flag for an individual car, that will also be at Station 8. Copy. Yes, sir, question. Okay. Anything else? Go ahead. Leading grid approaching me at pit out to put you on track. It is not hot driving from here to me. <laughs> right, this is Lee at pit out. Please do not hit me. Yes, slow down. Do not hit Lee. He's very important. That's all I got. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you, Lee. Uh, yes, questions? Can we, uh, no. can we come through the pen if we're bunched up? Yes. So if you find yourself in a train and you feel the need to open it up, come on down pit road and give us this. This is the hand signal for train. I need something like this. I need space, right? Make some kind of motion with your hands. We'll pull you down to pit out and Lee will hold you, let everything open up, and then send you right back out. So, do we so, come in or do we wait for the call to come in? 
you come on in, voluntarily come in if you're in a train. Come on down the middle of Pit Road, I'll send you right back around to Lee. He will open the space up and send you right back in. Yes, hi. Really isn't one. Not here, as soon as you go out, you're pretty much right on line because it's Shenandoah. Good question, there is no real blend line here. You're gonna go right out, pit out uh, to the end there and just make a hard left right across that curb and you'll be pretty much on the track. So, you know, Shenandoah problems, I guess. <laughs> Other questions, thoughts, concerns? Yes, sir. Put the schedule in the Facebook. Uh, oh, cool, excellent, thank you. Schedule's in the Facebook group if anyone has not seen it. I'm sure we have enough copies around. The best thing to do is take a picture of it on your phone, right, so you don't lose the piece of paper. I'll be working off a phone picture of the schedule the entire day because I will guarantee lose any piece of paper you hand me. Other questions, thoughts, concerns? Lee, hi. Sorry about that. Entering the track, John brings up the interesting point. You don't have an opportunity to blend. I'm gonna give you that opportunity, trust me, commit to the track entry. Sometimes it's a very small window and that pause, you lost that window. Then I gotta stop you when you try to start moving. It gets dicey, so please, I give you the point, commit to the entry and go. Don't hesitate. Yeah. All of these cars are equipped with a big pedal on the right that when you press it down, <laughs> makes you go faster. Some faster than others. That's the pedal you want when you're leaving pit out, right? Get on the track and go. Other questions, thoughts, concerns? Who's ready to have some fun? We're gonna have a safe and fun day? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Anybody wants to talk about skin pad, walk that way. Otherwise, let's do it. Thank you, everybody.